Hey everybody, it's Shannon with Sparkle and Shine Health and Fitness, and happy Friday. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. I did finally find a little bit of green. I know it's not the perfect green, but I must not wear green much because there wasn't much in my closet. But anyways, happy St. Patrick's Day, and I'm jumping on really quick with you to share some simple, easy ways to make meal planning work. And now I'm the first to admit I've struggled in this area. It's been really hard for me to meal plan um, because I think I was making it over, over complicated and it doesn't have to be, okay? So I finally found a way that works for me and I'm gonna share that with you in just a second. Um, but first let's talk about some simple ideas to implement meal planning for your family, okay? So the first one I wanna talk about is involving your family. They can be really little kiddos all the way up to high school, college kiddos, right? No matter what age they are, involve them. So when you're making out your meal plan for the week, say, uh, Michael, what would you like to have for supper on Tuesday night? Sally, what would you like to have for Thursday night? And let them be involved. Um, they're gonna eat that meal probably better. And that's also a great way to involve them in making that meal. So that you can say, okay, Tuesday night, Michael, is your night, so you're going to help me in the kitchen. Sally, Thursday night is your night, and so you get to help me in the kitchen. That involves them. They learn to cook. They learn to be involved. Um, it also pays off when they go to college because they know how to cook, right? They've been involved. They know how to meal plan because they've seen what you do. They watch everything we do, right? Um, so there's my first tip is involving the family in meal planning. Let them help pick out a meal, pick out a recipe, um, and be involved. Um, the second thing that I'm going to share with you is um, using theme nights. That kind of makes it fun. Um, you can have like Monday night soup night every week and Thursday night pizza night every week. Um, or you could call it Italian night and you could have lots of different Italian meals that Thursday night. Um, beef night. You know, hey, we're, we're from Nebraska, right? Everybody loves beef here. Um, a beef night. Tuesday night's beef night, okay? And then pick your recipes around that. And that just kind of makes it easy and simple, okay? Um, the next idea that I have is um, organizing your recipes. <laughs> and this is where I still kind of struggle a little bit because I feel like I have recipes everywhere. Um, I have tons on Pinterest. I have the, you know how these Facebook video come, videos come around with recipes and they're awesome but you share them and then they're on your Facebook feed and you have to dig through them or you can save the video and you can come back and look at the video. Um, you have paper recipes, so I feel like they're in lots of different places, but try to narrow down a couple places where you keep them so they're easy to go find when you're ready to make them. When you're making out your meal plan for the week, write down where that recipe is at so you know where to go find it. Because my big thing is, I'm like, oh, we're gonna try this new recipe this night and then I'm like, oh crap, where in the heck is that at? Was it on my Facebook videos? Was it on Pinterest? What, which board on Pinterest was it on, right? So, you know, all these different things. So write down where it's at so it's quick and easy to find when you are ready to make it, okay? Um, and then the next thing is I'm gonna share with you what I started doing that has really helped for me, and that is building a recipe bank, okay? Um, I found this idea actually off of Pinterest, and um, I love it, and the reason it works for me is because I am very bad with coming up with ideas. You can tell me what to make and I'll make it, but it's hard for me to come up with ideas. Um, I can make the same three or four things over and over and it doesn't bother me, um, but that's no fun, right? So um, building this recipe bank gives you something to pick from, okay? And so every week I try to add one new recipe to the week. Um, you don't want to do more because it can get very overwhelming, multiple nights having to make new recipes, find lots of new ingredients. And then if you have epic fails, um, you have the family upset because there was an epic fail on Monday night and a new recipe on Thursday night that was an epic fail, right? So just add one in a week. If it's a family favorite, everybody loved it, it was a great hit, add it to your recipe bank, okay? Um, and so what I've done with my recipe bank, in the back of my planner, I have little sticky notes and they're color coded. So like one color is chicken recipes and another color is beef recipes another color is crock pot recipes and so at a glance i can go okay this night i know i have a really busy day i'm going to do a crock pot recipe so it's ready when i get home so i go to that color and i'm like okay what recipes work well that i want to try this week and i just pull from them and drop them on my planner that simple okay um 
when I first started doing it, I was taking the sticky note and dropping it on that day in my planner. Um, but then I wasn't writing it in the planner what it was. I just put the sticky note there. But what I found out was in the following week, um, I at the end of the week, I take my sticky notes off and put them back in my recipe bank. The next week, I would be like, oh, when was the last time I made this? And I go to flip through, well, my sticky notes were gone. I didn't remember what I made. Um, so I stick my sticky note down and then top, on the paper, I write what that recipe is for that night, the name of that recipe. Um, so I can refer to them so I'm not being quite so repetitive in my planning. Um, on my sticky notes, I keep it very simple. I put the name of the recipe at the top and then I list the main ingredients that I might not keep on hand normally, okay? Um, and then, I some, then I'll write where that recipe is found, like Pinterest, Facebook, right? We talked about that, where it's found. And if it's a crock pot recipe, I usually write down like the time. Like, so I know if I have to throw it in on the crock pot in the morning before I leave to work, or if I throw it on at lunch, you know, kind of a, just an idea. It's five hours and it's an eight hour recipe, right? Um, so that is how simple it is. And that is what I do. So this is just an idea for you to try and see if it works for you guys. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and just show you really quick what my planner looks like, my recipe bank. Um, so you can kind of see an example, okay? So, here's my recipe planner. These are my sticky notes that I was telling you about. There's little books of sticky notes and they're color coded so I can pick one color for each, um, like chicken, steak, whatever, you know, we talked about. Um, and then on the other side, if I remove this, I have two pages and eventually I'm hoping to fill both these pages up with recipe ideas. As you can see, I don't have a ton of them right now because I'm just adding one new one a week. These aren't my basic recipes. Like everybody knows how to make mac and cheese, right? I don't have mac and cheese written on here because we know how to make it. These are my new recipes that I try that the family loves. Um, so you can see like on this one, it is sausage, egg rolls, and a bowl. And I have written down sausage, cabbage, garlic, ginger, green onions, sesame oil. So I know those are things that I might not always have on hand. So when I take this recipe and drop it to a page, I'm just gonna go back here to a page. I use my middle row here in my planner and put them in here. So I would drop that there. That means Tuesday night, that is what we are having for supper. And right here is where I would start to write, I started doing this now, writing the name of the recipe, sausage egg rolls in a bowl. That way when I refer back to it, I remember what I did that night, okay? The other thing I do is these things on my grocery list, at the same time, I decide if I have those on hand, I come over here and I add them to my grocery list. So for Tuesday night, I know I need to buy sausage and I need to buy ginger. And then I take, come back to my list, I take another recipe and I drop it on Wednesday night. And I take the rest of the ingredients off of Wednesday night and drop them on my grocery list and that keeps it very simple. So, that was all I was gonna share with you guys today. Thanks for jumping on. Those are my ideas, and I'm sure you guys have lots of great ideas too. So, I would love all of you guys that watch this video um, to feel free to comment in the feed with ideas of things that you guys do to make your meal planning easier, to make it simple. Um, I'm always open for ideas. I just finally, just you know, a couple months ago, really got into this recipe bank that's working for me. Um, so give it a try and see if it works for you. Um, and shoot me your ideas down below in the comments. Thanks for jumping on, guys. See ya. Have a great weekend.